And and for me, right now, the most valuable non-quarterback in the NFL is Justin Jefferson of the Minnesota Vikings. I think that's true. If so, I think for the sake of you know making this slightly interesting, we're gonna lean in the direction you suggested, which is you know let's let's go away from quarterback as soon as you can make a reasonable argument for it. Effectively, is the the point we're making. Um, if you were doing it sort of a genuine like intellectual exercise how deep would you go before you were taking the first non-quarterback because then you're saying you're starting a franchise like so you're starting honestly like this was where my list ended because i I think you i mean look dak probably gets taken i I think dak is worth it he's 28 years old something like that he could play for another 10 years for all we know um and, and is a very good football player in my opinion so but I really do think at a certain point I would be like, okay, you know what? Now instead of taking the ninth or tenth best quarterback and, and and so on, if that person I don't think has upside, right? If it's not like, all right, we're gonna start talking Justin Fields or we start talking like guys we believe in. But for me, like I'm not sitting there and drafting Jared Goff and Derek Carr and Kirk Cut. Like I just I would rather just you know, play somebody else and and try to draft that player going forward and build an elite offensive line for him to th- work with or receivers to throw to. Um, I just, yeah, it'll, it's it's pretty quick when I start pivoting to. I'll just go, you know, go with a, a journeyman veteran and, and look for a kid in the future. Yeah, because so it's not quite as clean as you know. I was just pulling up the WAR numbers, um, and if you use PFF WAR, obviously we know quarterback is so more so powerful relative to any other position when it comes to moving the needle for wins and losses that you have to go all the way down to number to thirty one for the first non quarterback in terms of value towards wins last season, and actually it's tied with Justin Jefferson and Tyreek Hill. So those are the two guys that you that are that they're first off the board but in this list of quarterbacks that are above those guys are backups or players that only played half the season you know Brock Purdy is worth more to last season's war than any other non-quarterback like to than Justin Jefferson even though he only played whatever it was six games or started six games um but I it's not as simple as that that you just take a quarterback until you don't have because you're going to be able to come back and get one later right you're not this is who you would start the franchise with this is your franchise draft your expansion draft from nothing it's not you get one shot at a quarterback and then you're done you get to come back later you get to get Aaron Rodgers in the fifth round and you know play him for a couple of years or you get to draft a younger guy later on so I think you do draft these guys higher doubt this is right where you're on the cusp I think you can make a pretty solid argument that Prescott is significantly let's like a better option than anybody remaining when you consider age when you consider what he can do with the right supporting cast that you do take him but i'm okay going justin jefferson at this point we give dallas jefferson a move on i think we should and i realize now we're going to piss them off twofold because micah parsons <laughs> probably has the as the other That's argument true. as the most valuable non-quarterback so yeah let's go justin jefferson just just you know why not